What's up, it's Nick from Vlogs here, or the Canadian Fisher here. In today's video, welcome to my f first uh, uh, fishing video of the year. Uh, I'm actual f actually fishing this in today's video, and hopefully we catch trout. I'm fishing the Petticodiac River. Uh, I know last year we fished the Down River towards down further, Down River, but in today's video we're fishing up river, and hopefully we catch something. And I'm using my brand new fishing rod that I made a video about, did a vlog at Bass Pro and got it over the winter time. See a lot. It's a Quantum, and it's a fishing rod combo, and I got a mono on it, I think, mono filament, not braid it. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into today's video, and I'm wearing my favorite hat and favorite shirt too. And but that Peggy got me, my friend. So let's get right into these videos. So ho hope we catch something. So we're headed to the fishing area right now. It's a little bit muddy. So a uh, good thing I have my rubber boots on, not my shoes. And uh, this is a cool fishing spot along the river because there's so many places to fish, just not in one spot. So there's a river there and uh, we're gonna fish the main river first. See if we can catch anything. Because that's where I would be tackle first, because that's my hot spot. So we're here at the fishing spot. See, as you can see, this is where the river begins. And this is just the same river that, this is a very long river. And this is the, called the Petticoat Yak River. And pretty, it's a pretty cool river, but it's long and uh um this is usually a good spot because there's a little bit of a current there and that's where the fish like to hide so yeah so in today's video we're running a uh, uh, weight or split shot on monofilament line not braided this time because and that's a swivel and a, a red and white uh spinner with, uh, like that's called red devil spinner and a hook and a trout worm the store never had any um a night crawlers they were all sold out because they were selling a lot of worms so all they had is trout worms but they just do, do the trick it would do my first cast and see what we can hook on to see if there's any bites or fish in this spot Hopefully there, there is. Hopefully we don't get skunk like last year. At the last spot we caught something. Hopefully we catch something at the first spot this time. Let's try over here. In the uh, current. Uji, you can catch something in the current. Maybe they're hanging out here today. Right here. Yeah, it's deep, a little bit deeper in moving water over here. They, they're probably waiting for a uh, bait fish. Oh, we need more worm on it. I don't like showing the hook when I'm fishing trout. All right, he's very squirmy. <laughs> okay. I got it. I finally got it. The thing with trout worms, they like to move a lot and they're very small. But they're perfect. I wish you like night crawlers better, better. But it is what it is. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Almost. There, that should do it. Oh! Darn, there's fish. Yeah, I, I felt that bite. Darn, I missed it. Nothing yet, just that one big bite and that was it. I guess they moved or, or uh, we gotta find them again. We're gonna feel the water, see how cold it is. Uh, it's pretty so-so uh, in the year. So see, see how it looks. Burr is still quite cold, a little bit cold. But not as cold as in winter time, of course, because it would be ice in the water. But this is I, this is the North River, it's on the Petticodiac River, and Annie Gantz River, I'm pretty sure, whatever it's called. But this North River, I don't fish it much, because every time I try to fish it, there's rapids, but it's quite shallow, so there's not much fish in it, especially in the middle of the summer when it's 
water is really low because it's all as you can see it's already shallow and you can see the bottom so i find that other rivers are deeper than the north river correct me if i'm wrong but just, i think you gotta just find deep holes in the north river to find fish but uh it's hard because it's just so shallow right so there wasn't no luck only one bite here so they're around uh, the trout are or whatever bit here they're around just not biting here so we tried there and tried up there so we're, i think we're gonna either uh, in today's video at this spot uh go over there where the rapids are it's really deep over there and, and i might try the other side of the bridge a little bit who knows but we gotta get a fish in today's video so we're gonna switch spots So we're out of the woods, so I'm just using my bicycle there and walk back. We're going to try the other side of this bridge and a little bit of the other river and move, then we will probably end off the video. I just don't want this video uh, it, 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 all about catching nothing. Ever since I got on my bike, I've been out of breath. So sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, I'm not used to riding my bicycle. And I'm sorry if I'm out of breath a little bit. And we're walking through otters. Everybody's favorite part about trout fishing. And uh, not mine. Freaking otters. And trees and branches. This is the worst part fishing the Anigant or uh, uh, river because uh, it's surrounded by trees and it's hard to get to but it's really good fishing because not very many people go to it because this is why and the easy spots is where you fished out no trout there maybe because maybe maybe because where i was fishing it's easy to get to and you know it might have fished out but if i if i take the effort put the effort in and uh goes through all of and stuff just maybe i catch something hopefully a shovel or something we're almost at the first spot of the river and it's pretty deep uh, as i can remember for, but uh never know what you can catch right okay we're right here Let's see if we can see the bottom see if there's fish there's a little bit of a current and it looks pretty deep so I think I'm going to try here first. And it's sandy and it's perfect. First cast into the spot. Let's see what's in here. It's pretty deep, deep here. No. So. So there's nothing here once again. So we're gonna go upriver. I'm gonna. I have a feeling uh, I'm gonna go fishing it up. A uh, fishing in a hole way up the river. Um, it's really good fishing, and it's deep. And I think they might be there. They might be there. So who knows? So I'm gonna skip the river part, and then up further there's a hole. A fish like a pool of water so i think there we would have success there so i'm not i'm gonna take a hike up there man it's muddy and my rubber boots are all muddy see you can see it's so dense forest in here but it's worth it in the end and I'm not going to get lost because um, pretty much I'm just following the river. So it's not hurt. So I'm not going to get lost. Sorry about the racket. I'm just trying to get through alders and stuff. And just try not to snap my fish or rod. So we're going to check to see if the water is too deep to go across. It looks fine, but I don't want to get my feet wet. So here we go. And try not to fall because it's occurring. See if it's too deep. 
because the water is cold. It might not be too deep, I know. Well, it was kind of too deep. Burr, I got myself wet a little bit, but it was kind of too deep, but these are quick dry pants, so it wasn't too cold. <laughs> So this is the pool itself. So we might catch something in this pool. If not, we're gonna call it a video, but I don't wanna go up any further. And I think we're gonna take a different way back because the otters and stuff was way too much for me. I'm older now, right? So we're here at this spot. I haven't fished here once again for years. So it looks promising like every spot, but so far no fish. We're gonna cast in. I would you have luck in this spot when there's no nothing out, nowhere else there's fish, this would you this spot. Oh, I got something finally. Uh did it come off? Darn it came off. Come on, come back for it. Did it come off? No, it did come off. It's a uh, it's a little trout. Yeah, we finally got something. A little trout, look. So, always wet your hands first. I'm gonna wet your hands first every time you touch a trout because you don't wanna take the slime off uh, the trout because that, would, that might kill them. Sorry about that. Okay, this. I don't really wet my hands because I would really keep them. Wet my hands. It's annoying, but it is what it is. And get the trout. It's a small guy, but he would do. I didn't think I didn't have anything on because I pulled up and I didn't think, um, I didn't think there was nothing. Nice guy. What, what a beautiful fish. First fish of the day. I knew coming up here, we would catch something. Here's a release shot. And I just let it sit there too. There, there goes the trout. They don't move very fast. I don't think this time of year. Cast number two. And I just let it sit there and it, it, it just came, it kind of came for the bait, for the worm. I didn't reel in with nothing. That's what I have been doing all day. I, I didn't catch anything up till right now. But this time of year, you gotta find them. You can't just sit in one spot and hope for the best. So we're gonna do, uh, do a couple more casts and we're gonna call it a day because, or we'll call it a video, because uh, I did only caught one trout, or brook trout um, in this hole and that was about it. We, we did get another bite in the, the head of the river where it dumps out, but that was about it. I don't know if there's a fish there. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Sometimes the trout like uh, hide under brush brush piles and uh, look for bait fish. Sometimes. I guess not in that one. I guess. Couple more casts. That was close. I almost got it caught in a tree. So far, so good today. I never got caught in one tree, my, my hook. I would you do a lot. Mainly these trout worms, I forgot they are hard to get off the hook when they're already on a hook. <laughs> they're hard, harder than night crawlers to get off the hook, I mean. There, that's the best I can do. We're calling it a day. Oops, sorry about that. I love this new fishing rod. 
So I'm going to take a different way back. Uh, I'm not going to go down along the river again because it's very dense, the forest, and sick. And I don't know what I was thinking to come up here. Just leave me in a comment below if it was worth me coming up here just for one fish, like one trout. But I saw I was going to catch more trout than this because I was when I come up here, I usually do. But it's, it's been years and I guess things change and stuff like that. I gotta put my GoPro up. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, who I'm free. Yeah, it just ran across the road. So as you can see, I'm out now and if I was doing the river, pulling the river, I would be still in the woods. I find it faster, a little bit faster. Even though I gotta walk way down there, but it's worth it in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a great video, but we only caught one fish in today's video. It was a trout. It was like, it was about this long, but probably not even. And uh, it was it was probably by luck, but it was worse the walk and stuff like that. So I'm pr pretty much going to end it off now. It's, I'm hot. I still got a bike home on my bicycle and stuff like that. So I'm going to end it off now. So like comment follow me on twitter if you want to see more videos like this all my social media is usually down in the description below like always subscribe to me for more content and don't forget to put the notifications on by clicking the bell beside my name but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is the first fishing video of the summer so i'm pretty happy with it so your old pal the canadian fisher when nick from vlogs is out catch you guys in the next video peace out